new special select blue dragonstone is the best value we've ever had for the blue stone. How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we got something for you pay to play players out there in this video. We're going to talk about the special select Dragonstone, the value it contains for you free to play players, and who I would recommend you pick up should you decide to dole out the $80 for the two stones, or maybe just the $40 for a TUR. So let's go ahead, let's hop in, let's take a look. So here we have the list of characters available with the blue dragonstone. For two of the blue dragonstones, which you can buy in the shop, you can only buy a maximum of two of them. You can pick up one of the following characters here. The LR Gobros, the LR uh, Super Saiyan 4s from the 4th year anniversary, and the LR Fusion Duos from the 3rd year anniversary. You can also pick up the AGL Spirit Bomb Goku, the Fizz Janemba, and the Tech Broly from Broly Second Coming. On the one stone side of things, for the TURs, you can grab Int Broly, um, Fizz Goten and Trunks, AGL 13, Cooler, um, Goku, Namek Goku, Transforming Vegeta, AGL Gogeta, and Broly, uh, the Tech God, the Goku, STR God Vegeta, AGL Metal Cooler, and his two banner units here. So, very, very interesting choices here. We'll start with the TURs, right? So, for the TURs, should you decide to pick up one or two of the stones, um, there's only a couple units I would recommend, honestly. Number one, I do not recommend you pick up the uh, the banner unit TURs with one of your stones, right? They're just not worth it prioritize the Dokkan Fests, right? So, number one, make sure you do that. But otherwise, I think the best, um, the best two choices for TURs are pretty straightforward, right? Number one, the STR EZA Cooler. If there was a good choice, it is him out of all of them, right? He's just doing so much, right? Uh, he is not only stacking defense right which makes him really really helpful in longer form content he is also uh supporting transformation boost or terrifying conquerors both of which help out the lr str cooler now i know what you're gonna say you know hey he's kind of age but he's still good the lr str cooler is still powerful um so why not go for him he's the, he is clearly the 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 best choice if you don't have this str cooler you weren't able to pick him up last anniversary or last worldwide you weren't able to pick him up with coins whatever the case may be now is your chance especially if you're a newer player this guy if you're somebody who just picked up cooler during world what like the lr cooler during worldwide celebration and you didn't have a good supporting cast for him well now if you're a play to play player you have your shot um, if not cooler my other option is the AGL Gogeta dude uh, easy aid right before the eighth year anniversary and while he can be a bit scary in his base form with that um, with that medium chance to evade or that 50 percent chance to evade right it's a 50 percent chance to evade um, he can be a little scary there once he transforms right not only is he getting insanely more powerful because he's raising attack and defense for four turns he's also got a 70 percent chance to evade and getting a lot of extra attack after that first evasion so he's really 
really um, strong, especially uh, like even at 55%. If you guys remember the showcases we did for him, we only had him at 55% initially until we went and grabbed that extra copy. So if you were to pick two TURs, they would definitely be my top recommendations. Obviously, whatever your box is missing should be the priority, but if you had to pick multiple, these would be the two I would prioritize over the rest. Now, for the big draw, right? We have a chance to pull Dokkan Fest LRs. Now, what's interesting is this is a first because previously when we would have these LR stones on like the anniversary or worldwide they were limited to the yellow coin lrs right this is the first time i think that dokkan fest lrs were purchasable in this manner and they're purchasable straight at the fully awakened status you would just have to easy aid them because just about everybody here except for two characters can be easy aid so this is very interesting but if you were to pick i would say my number one choice out of all of the lrs is probably the lr gofros they are the most powerful out of these choices um what they're doing is just so good for the teams that they're on, right? Multiple super attacks, multiple powerful super attacks that only get stronger the more that they do. They can struggle a little bit getting their initial 24 key, but once you got it that first time, it's so much easier to get every time after that. Add on to that their active skill, which is insanely powerful if they fully built up. Um, you're talking about for a powerful LR. I wouldn't recommend grabbing the fourth year or the third years unless you're missing them, and those are like the you know, the only ones you're missing here, because, I mean, while they are fun to use, they've certainly aged out for probably more than anything else on either of the choices. So I would definitely not recommend p uh, picking up on any of them unless you're missing them. the vegeta less so he still got some uses with the dodge and the damage reduction once you get him out but you know it's six turns to get him out which doesn't really happen anywhere anymore so uh definitely would steer clear of them so go bros number one choice now if there were a number two choice this is the interesting thing right while sba goku is quite good post eza wouldn't recommend grabbing him because he is freely available on like ticket summons for like the legendary goku's events so definitely wouldn't recommend picking him up there however what's interesting is they threw tech broly and uh fizz Janemba on here neither of whom have an easy a yet like everyone else in fact for the tur's we have the same thing as well all of these guys here have not received an easy a yet but they're also related to movies i'm thinking this might be because we're getting something big related to movies coming soon and broly is certainly certainly do up for an easy A. So if we have a movie celebration coming soon, he could easy A. You could pick this guy up with the possibility of him easy A in the future, but then if his easy A isn't up to snuff, now you've wasted $80. So I don't necessarily know that I could give my full recommendation on that unless he was the only one you were missing out of all of these, right? So Again, number one pick for the LRs is probably the LR GoBros. Uh, my two picks for the TURs, if you were to use two of them, is probably Cooler and Gogeta. Um, they are probably your best choices out of all of these. So, guys, that is it for the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know who did you end up picking with the special select blue dragon stone. Um, again, this is only for pay to play players. It'll cost you about $80 USD if you want to grab the stone. But I definitely think being able to purchase a Dokkan Fest LR is probably probably worth it as this is the cheapest it's ever been this is even cheaper than the regular uh purple stone when that comes out so definitely think it's a there's there's definitely some value here me personally i'm probably gonna grab this guy here because he is the only one i don't have rainbow so he's probably my choice so anyways guys that's it for the video if nothing else thanks for watching and aloha